The Prints and Photographs Division at the Library of Congress holds over 16 million items, including photographs, historical prints, posters, cartoons, fine prints, and architecture design and engineering drawings. The collections are international in scope, with a strength in the history of the United States and the lives, interests, and achievements of the American people. There's truly something for everyone. While more than a million items are digitized and available online, an in-person visit allows you to see even more. This video will show you how to prepare for a visit to the Prints and Photographs Reading Room and what to expect while you're here. Before heading to the library, view the Prints and Photographs online catalog and reading room page. Here, you can explore collections, learn about materials requiring advance notice, and identify digitized images only available at the library or those that are not digitized at all. In some cases, we need advance notice when items are stored off-site or when special handling is required. Materials such as this will generally have an access advisory in an online record. You can use the link provided or simply contact us through Ask a Librarian for availability and to arrange for service. The Prints and Photographs Reading Room is located in the Madison Building on the third floor and is open Monday through Friday from 8.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. To enter, present your reader identification card to staff, read through our reading room policies, and stow your belongings. Upon entering, you'll meet a reference librarian eager to help you on your visual quest by answering your questions, discussing our collections, and providing search techniques. The reference librarian will suggest the best place to begin your visit, such as searching the online catalog, consulting a physical card catalog, browsing a reading room collection, or filling out a call slip. The Reading Room Floor offers self-serve collections on some frequently requested topics and themes identified by overhead signs. If you find something of interest, carefully remove materials from the drawer and bring back to your seat at a reading room table. We'll take care of refiling when you're finished. For items that are not self-serve, you will submit call slips, which staff can help you complete. After submitting your call slip, Staff will retrieve the material, and our larger items require an extra set of hands. Generally, you'll receive material in less than 15 minutes. Upon delivery, staff will help you with any special handling requirements or tools, such as gloves, book cradles, or a magnifying glass. You'll probably want to make some reference copies of the material you're viewing. For that, we suggest you BYOC bring your own camera. You can take photographs with the flash disabled after signing a camera copy form. Items will lie flat on the table and preservation materials such as sleeves or mats will be left in place. Quality copies of both digitized and non-digitized materials may also be purchased from duplication services. Whether you're visiting us in the reading room or online, we want you to have a successful experience. Useful resources, accessible from anywhere, include reference aids and guides, such as image lists and collection overviews, the researcher toolbox, and top tips for researchers. If you're looking for research inspiration, watch our latest discoveries and information shared through Flickr and the Picture This blog. Our reference staff is at the ready. Connect with us today and discover how visual materials can enhance your research projects, take you on a virtual journey, and spark new questions and interests.